Okay guys, so today um, I'm going to be telling you about the hair, the Alley Queen hair, um, slash the wig that I told you all that I was going to be making in my, I made the video about, mm, about a week or two ago. Sorry if I sound drowned out or shaky, I'm kind of sick, I feel like I have an ear infection, I'm sick for the past maybe four or five days. Um, I don't know what happened. I just got sick. I look big. Or maybe I look big. <laughs> Anyways, so the the hair, let me tell you. My initial review, my first review, um, I love the hair. Right now, I still love the hair. So let me tell y'all what I did. I got tired of waiting for the cap to come in the mail. So I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to just use the hair and make a sew-in first. Do a sew-in. And I tried it with the lace. And I but I butchered it. It was it was fucked up, okay? So um I literally kept the hair in my head for like two days. So then I just took it out um and I just had it on my dresser. I was waiting and waiting for the cap to come and it came about a cap came in the mail literally two days ago. So happy when I got it, I was like, yes, I can finally make my wig. So I was like, okay. Now let me tell y'all what I did. Literally, I, I messed up the lace. Like, I, I messed it up. I'll show y'all what I did. I'm not gonna lie. I, if it was my first time, okay. I feel like I'm gonna get it. I thought I was gonna get it. This is what happened. I ripped it. And don't look at my jacked up nails. They need to be done. I know. Um. But I, I cut them and broke them off because I needed, you know, more control while making the wig. So, whatever. So, I just ripped them off. I'm gonna get them done. Don't judge me. Everybody can be ratchet here and there. Um, so, this is what happened. I had the lace, you know, I was trying to sew it down or whatnot. And it ripped. I think I pulled the thread too tight or something. Or I had it on wrong. I don't know. But it ripped. So, I was like, you know... I thought I was going to be able to like, you know, cut some more to get rid of the rip part. But if I cut some more, I'm going to be cutting the actual hair off the lace. So, and I think it will fall apart if something like that happened. So, um, <clears throat> guys, I'm really sorry. I'm really sick. Um, so the lace was out of the question. So I was like, okay. That, that was my initial like feeling. When my cap came, and I was like, Jesus, I wanted to make a lace frontal wig. So I was like, okay, whatever, the lace is messed up, so I'm guessing make a U-part. So that's exactly what I did. I made a U-part wig. I wanted to record it for y'all, please, don't get mad. But I did not have the proper equipment or angles and stuff like that to actually put my camera down, show me making the wig. It was just too much. And my daughter was running around, so I was like, no. I do have clips of like, uh, I have a video of the final, like the ending of the wig when I was done, and I have pictures of how I laid my tracks and how I sewed it, and I sewed it as flat as possible. Now this is what happened, because I don't have a big head. I thought that my my foam mannequin, my styrofoam mannequin. The head size, I thought it was like the same size. I didn't do anything to um, adjust or like measure or anything like that. I just started sewing. I used an elastic dome cap, so I was like, okay, it'll be able to stretch for me if it's too small. It was too big. Sorry, something's in my contact. Oh my God. It turned out that it was too big for my head. <laughs> Like I said, I don't have a big head. Guessing the cap was too big, so what I did was I, um, the clip-ins that I have, I took the comb, basically I ripped the uh, thread off of the combs on the clip-ins and I put them on my wig. So I have four combs, well, no, I have five combs, I have one here, 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 and two in the back, and it's still too big. show y'all. Let me show y'all. If I do this, it looks flatter. But if I do that, it puffs back up. So I'm going to put two more combs on the sides 
so that it could be, you know, flatter than it is now. Adjustment that I feel like needs to be done to this wig. This hair is wonderful. I did it on purpose just to see. Because y'all know how AliExpress hair be, it be jacked up sometimes if you wash it or anything like that. I did a heat test, wash test, blow dry test, and another heat test. I wand curled it. It was nice. It was shiny. Now, I wanted to take the luster out anyway because my hair is natural and as you can see, it's not that shiny. Okay, I got some coconut oil in it, but that's about it. See, if the heat, like the heat, it can stand the heat. I let them sit overnight. The curls lasted. It holds the curl great, okay? I washed the hair. I only co-washed it. I didn't use any shampoo. So co-washing is just conditioner and water, warm water. I thought, I honestly thought that if I washed this hair, it was going to tangle, mat. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe it's just because of the reviews that I've seen. I honestly don't know if the reviews I've seen on YouTube are the, is the same review for this hair. There's a vendor on AliExpress named queen hair this one is alley queen so i was like every time i typed in alley queen hair review on youtube all queen hair popped up so i was like maybe that's maybe that's not the same hair maybe it is the reviews on aliexpress though were all good okay i guess i just gotta see for myself i washed it um i blow dried it and i flat ironed it now what you see here is just from the hair like being on my neck and resting on my neck and shoulders but it straightens very well it's not bad hair it's not it's the blow dryer and the flat iron the hair definitely definitely did not resist it it took very well so i'm very happy about that the hair is holding up well okay this is how much of the 12 inches left so i have about three and a half bundles in i took the 10 inch and i sewed it around the perimeter of the wig. I really wish I would have recorded it, but I didn't. I sewed it down that way so that if I do pull it up, you won't be able to see the tracks or the um, elastic from the cap. Girl, the wind can blow. If the wind blows or if you want to pull it up in a ponytail, you go to the beach, the pool, something like that, you don't want to get all of the hair wet, you can just um, pull it up in a nice little pretty ponytail. This is how much is left of the 10 inch. This is a pretty much a whole bundle. Now about this closure, I like now my initial review, I really like the closure. Don't get me wrong, I like the closure, but I did place it on top of my wig to see how it would lay. I don't think it would have laid that well with the um with the wig. If I put this on, do you see this? I don't think it would have blended. <laughs> Girl, we look like Donald Trump. Girl, we look like Donald Trump. Hey. <laughs> now, for I really don't think it would have laid right. It, it's more like, this is like kind of stiff. I know it's short, so it ain't going to have that much movement. But, like, it's kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I like that it was free part, and I could part it anywhere that I wanted to. We gonna, we gonna find something to do with that lace, okay? Other than that, all I did was part my actual hair into a U up here, and I pulled my edges out. Right, well, not pulled them out, but I uh, parted them, and then I just, you know, I I customized it to my own. It's hot outside, so this is what I used. Now, edge control is okay. It'll be okay. Got your back for like five minutes, girl. It's not. I promise you, if you are a natural and you want to lay them edges in the summertime, this is your best friend. Gorilla Snot, it will hold, like, yeah, your edge is going to probably, like, you know, curl somewhat back up. Like mine, like, if you see them, they're a little curly, but it holds. Like, it's not going to, like, melt in the sun. Only thing about Gorilla Snot is this. This um, gorilla snack because they have about ten different ten different types I guess. There's like a purple, green, blue, orange type of bottle. Only only thing with this is it will like build up. It will hold them edges down for like two or three days, girl. Like I'm not even playing with you. That's all to it. I don't think I need to say anything else. And I just flat ironed it. Um, I tried to, you know, do the little, the little, whatever. My hair it 
just don't cooperate. Other than that, I think that's all I need to say in this video. I probably said that like 10 times, but if you guys have any questions or anything like that, just um, comment, Snapchat me, DM me on Instagram. I will have all that linked down below, or I probably will put it right here. Hopefully, I can put it right here. So, thanks for, so much. Really, thanks for much. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video.